and welcome back to Trash or Treasure, the video series where I usually go into games blind to see if they're any good, but this time we're actually checking out the emulator for Game Boy on Switch that uh, was announced and released this week. So uh, yeah, my name is WW Deadman, but you already know that, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and have a look at a bunch of these just uh, to uh see how well they run uh i guess we're just gonna start off with an absolute classic and play some tetris uh confirm in-game menu selection is start okay good uh can you uh can, can yeah thanks okay Dude. Obviously, we're gonna keep the classic uh, music, um, and we'll start from level like two, cause otherwise this is gonna be a little bit. Uh... I know. Thanks. Can. Keep that out of my fucking face. Uh, that's shit. Um, that's the wrong way around. Uh, I guess I'll put that here. There's way too many long bars. Dude, can we stop? Dude, seriously though. Oh great, now I don't have any, ugh. I guess the only thing that fits here is this. We just lost the last row. Thanks. Tetris. So yeah, definitely plays like uh, it would on an actual Game Boy or on any emulator, really. Works fine. Exactly what I'd want. Um, apparently there is a way to change... Um, Like change the um, like setting of which design of Game Boy you want to use for the like screen background because 
this is very much the old green and black uh, screen of the original Game Boy. There's also a Game Boy Pocket and a Game Boy Color uh, thing. Can I have a long piece? Not? I could play this forever. Ah! Okay, unless I do something like that. Thank you. 
I hate you. Exact wrong way around. Great. Uh, this game gets a whole lot, a lot easier uh, in later versions where uh, you can store pieces. You know what, fuck it. Anyway, good. Uh, that that works well. Um, two game selection. Um, then I have never played Alone in the Dark. I have no idea what that even is. Um, game and Watch games, they're... Ugh, uh, not really my thing. Um, no idea what this is. Kirby's Dreamland is something I actually own on the... Uh, Game Boy. Uh, still would like to know how to change the, um... Cause I know you can. Setting. Oh, there we go. There's the thing. Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color. Now, obviously, the Game Boy Color games that are on here will automatically go on this. Um, reproduce classic feel? What? What does that do? Both NA and European versions is definitely something that's good. Uh, show controls in game for all I care. Keep it on, but uh, I just want to really quickly, honestly, just put it to Game Game Boy Color. Everything looks better that way. What's reproduce classic feel? Oh, that scan lines. No thanks. Like the the it, it's some sort of scan line thing lines in the game not not something I, I necessarily want uh but yeah have a look at kirby streamland oh yeah that has the very weird game of color implementation <laughs> on 
the title screen at least. Well, that's the last thing here. Yeah, no, thanks. You can uh, hold these and then have a rewind option. It basically has in uh, in uh, built-in safe states. Yep, that very much plays like on the uh, Game Boy. Ow, I'm an idiot. That's the easy thing about Kirby bosses. You mostly just suck something in and uh, shoot it at them. Ow. Ah yes, the boss. Hi. Ow. Ow? I thought I was... Ooh. Ow. Still plays like on the Game Boy. Sure does. Uh, then one game I <coughs> actually have right here. On the actual cartridge. Super Mario Land 2. Just go into the first save here. Stomp some Goombas. Whoops. If you know, I 
uh, recently, very recently, actually, uh, not exactly sure when exactly, but uh, pretty recently, I did a tre- uh, no, not a treasure treasure, a, um, gaming abridged of the original Super Mario Land. I do want to do that for this game as well, and seeing as I can just play it on the Switch now, on the, like, officially, um, and also, uh, I wanted to do that on my original cartridge, but, uh, fact of the matter is, I... Um, I wanted to do that uh, via the Super Game Boy accessory for the um, SNES. However, my SNES kind of broke. Keeps on resetting. Also a reason why I don't, uh, why I didn't get around to doing uh, the all tracks video for uh, the original Super Mario Kart on original hardware, but on the emulated uh, Switch version. <laughs> That's already what I had. But yeah, um, I guess that was the bonus thing, where you could just... play for bonus items. Don't exactly remember anymore what you can play for here. Um, also there's like, this is like, actually pretty open world. You can go to whichever world you want first. <laughs> yeah, you, it, it's free level select, so to say. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, this also works really well on this. I absolutely love this emulator. This works way better than any of the... Of the um, like, any of the console emulations that they've done up until now, because uh, the NES and SNES do have some issues for some of the games. Um, this just works. The N64 one is really bad as far as I'm, uh, I know. I ha don't have the extension pass, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Also not going to be able to do the Game Boy Advance one, since that's also extension pass only. But, uh, they're slowly adding stuff to the extension pass that makes it kind of worth getting. Uh, as soon as they have, like, an actual good library of games on, uh, those emulators that might actually be interesting. But yeah, uh, for now, have a look at, uh, uh an actual, uh, Game Boy Color game. Wario Land 3! I have never played anything past Wario Land. Like, Super Mario Land 3. This cartridge right here. <laughs> I've never played uh, anything past that in the series. Um, so, uh, uh, I definitely do want to eventually do um, Huh! How's your choice between English and Japanese? Do you need to actually read? I played the first Wario Land, as I said. Um, there is a Let's Play of that up on the channel. I might end up uh, like going back and um, doing a gaming abridged uh, of that in post, so to say. Uh, or I'll just play through it again. I'm currently playing through the game again for a challenge run anyway, so... Uh, 
would be interesting to see. If I could, like, maximize my uh, outcome on that. But yeah, I, I, I might as well just um, abridge the, um, the one I did already. Hi. A hidden figure. Are you aware, Wario, of what? This world is in the music box. Cool. You are peering into. Uh, yeah, the music box I was peering into, yeah. I was I was the god god that protected that protected this world. Holy crap, that is hard to read. But one day a wicked being sealed away my power and took control of this world. Can we make the text faster? Wario. I want you to find the five music boxes needed to break the hidden seal and recover my powers. If you find them, I'll send you back to your own world. Cool. And the treasure is mine to keep. Good. <laughs> Those dudes look a lot different. Okay, that is still the same. You don't get coins from them, though. Why can you not swim anymore? Correctly? That's weird. Ah! Also, where I don't have like a... Key. I don't have any kind of HUD for the game, which is weird. Hey. Okay. Cool. Get in? Dude. I know that from somewhere. Is that the literal the same treasure uh, sprite that they used in the first one? One of them, at least. And that was the end of the level. Uh huh. Weird. Then unlocked more. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Um, gonna say I'll keep the rest of this game uh, for uh, when I actually 
play through that for the treasure, uh, for the not treasure treasure for the uh, gaming abridged if I ever do one. Um, but yeah, uh, Game Boy Emulator works absolutely great. I will see you for uh, the next video of whatever I make, and until then, I hope they add more to this and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm WWD Deadman. Bye.